friends, colleagues, students and dignitaries. I am highly honoured to receive the NAPSRI Lifetime Achievement Award for 2018. I am extremely touched and feel privileged that I now join a group of other distinguished social work educators in the field of social work education who are receiving the award and those who have received the award before me. Due to health issues, I'm sorry that I'm not physically present with you all, but I'm fortunate to be able to share some of my thoughts with you thanks to digital technology. In a world full of conflict and war, increasing profiteering and ensuing exploitation, diminishing human values, empathy and sense of justice, I cannot imagine a world without social workers. They are needed today as much as they were needed 47 years ago when I started my career as a social worker. The Indian social worker with the ethos and commitment to social change is all the more important today given the fact that there are old and new tyrannical forces affecting common people in various forms including social media. By blocking out free spaces and opportunities for the poor and the marginalized, especially women, breaking down of our democratic institutions and incarceration of people who speak their minds. The world of social workers, especially women social workers, is in danger of getting undermined to a great extent in these challenging times if we do not rally together against these pernicious forces. As, as someone who began her journey 47 years ago, when the socio-economic and political situation had several gut-wrenching ups and downs. I have learned that social workers have to work despite and many a times owing to challenging situations in our times due to the status of lack of recognition of social work. Even in hospital social work, where medical and psychiatric social work had social sanction by the Bohr Committee Report of 1946, we struggled to establish our role as equal member of the medical team and we continue to do so even today. In contemporary times, I'm sure that many of us women social workers have experienced some form of sexual harassment either within the university system or on the street or when we had to advocate on behalf of the poor on issues controlled by the polity. Fortunately, the Me Too movement is creating an environment where women can come out without fear to express openly who and how they have Have we social workers through our national fora like NAPSVI made any statement regarding our support to the movement and to our own social workers who want to come out? Today, many social workers, especially in small towns and villages, are likely to be faced with new religious narratives and will have to respond to the needy and for whom religious and spiritual beliefs are crucial. What is our stand in this regard? I was taken aback when I recently came across articles on Hinduization of social work in the Delhi Times. Do we need to give in to the current fundamentalist forces that are creating a non-secular society? By its very foundation, social work is non-discriminatory and secular. So should we pander to polarizing forces that are undermining the very value and ethical base of social work? Social work educators will be facing the challenge of maintaining multicultural values of social work and not be cowed down by those waiting to wipe out our history of efforts and transform India into a monoculture and non-inclusive society. The indigenization of social work, 
which was started decades ago by our teachers and mentors, has to continue by bringing in many more experiences from thus far invisible communities. I was also surprised to note in reports of some conferences in 2018 on indigenization of social work, that social work education has not indigenized. I agree that there is an international movement for decolonizing social work education and indigenizing it based on the traditional community grassroots experiences of helping. In fact, in 2017, I presented a paper at the International Conference on Decoloniality uh, and indi Indigenization of Social Work Education with focus on India. In 2017, when I was able to relate our experiences of indigenization, starting with Dr. Gauri Banerjee's contributions. In fact, she and several of her contemporaries demonstrated the significance of field work to develop indigenous theory. Also, our teaching of the history and development and philosophy of social work, which continues as a course even today in most social work education programs, includes history of charity and philanthropy in India, religions and cultural practices that have contributed to our principles, values and practices in social work. I believe that we need to do more research before we declare in national conferences that nothing has been happening. We need to respect, acknowledge and publicize our own and each other's researches. We need a strong research and evidence base when we write our papers. Today, there's great danger of cut and paste with Google search without acknowledging our sources. This is plagiarism. Unfortunately, we don't have a central statutory council to look into these issues. But we could start with our own selves and our students and ensure that whatever we borrow and replicate in our papers should be properly referenced and acknowledged. The other peril we are facing today in terms of generating indigenous materials is that we can pay and publish. This is the most dangerous trend as the papers are not reviewed for quality and also are not monitored. Here again, we need a group within NAPSWI and other associations to address these issues. Social work educational institutions are facing many financial and political pressures and they need to tackle them in a balanced and nuanced manner so that the democratic culture for students, teachers and administrators can be sustained and access to social work education is not denied to those who are highly motivated and with inherent talents. Social work is both a profession and a discipline, cannot afford to have overworked, overloaded social work teachers. They will not only be living in front of their laptops and lose touch with the field, but will also set bad examples for professional social work students. As I've already mentioned earlier, that fieldwork in social work is integral and without fieldwork, we will only have social science and social work theory, but not social work. I've had experience of being part of local, national and international social work organizations, both in practice and education. I must share with you that I found working internationally very rewarding, despite the politics, as all our board members, for instance, in IASSW were committed to one cause of quality in social work education. In India, we had an excellent beginning with the Association of Social Work Education in India, ASWI, whose committee members include stalwart social work educators 
like Professor R. R. Singh, Professor Nair, Professor George, Professor Armaiti Desa and many others. Unfortunately, this association has become dormant and the Indian Association of Social Work Education, which was created in December 2013 with an ad hoc committee to run it till the first elections, despite its registration, has not been able to organize a single program. And this was after reaching a consensus among social work teachers that if we have a national association on social work education, we can strongly advocate to the government for a national council. I'm still optimistic that IASWE will see the light, light of day and start activities with elections and see collaboration of other local, regional and national associations. We have to remind each other of the privilege and the responsibility of the social work ethos and network with each other as strongly as we collaborate with the government and other agencies. We need to take up most relevant social issues and advocate for high quality social work education with a common voice and thus make a difference at all levels. We have to keep our hands in the melting pot and bring about social transformation through social change as one force and in one voice, together. In our case, more cooks will not spoil the broth, only enhance it. Thank you once again for the award and for inviting me to share my thoughts with you.